Hi and welcome to the best of IP Mat series. For today, we have a question on progressions. So I, I and it's not really a very difficult question. It's very much a doable question. So I would strongly encourage you to try your best uh, for this question and then let's have a look at the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free to avail this please click on the link mentioned under the description box below happy learning okay so let's start with the solution uh, so what have they given they've given s5 is equal to s9 we need to find out a3 is to a5 the summation of the five terms is equal to summation of the first nine terms is what they have said. Okay, So nothing extraordinary, just applying the formulas that you should already be knowing. Okay, So I am putting going to put the formula for Sn right now. Okay, So for Sn when n is equal to 5, what does it give me? It gives me n by 2, so 5 by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So it is 2a plus 4d, correct. So this is my S5. Now they have said this is equal to S9, which is again going to be 9 by 2 times 2a plus 9 minus 1, 8 times d. Correct. This is what is given. We obviously can cancel 2 here. Okay. Uh, and I can say 5 by 9 is equal to 2a plus 8d upon 2a plus 4d. Correct. On the right hand side, we can take two common and cancel it out. Okay, so we have 5 by 9 is equal to a plus 4d upon a plus 3d. Correct. So, and you're done. a plus 4d is nothing but t or rather a 5 and this is nothing but a 3. Simple. Uh, so, yeah, it's as simple as this. So, you know, don't be surprised if you see such simple questions and don't start double checking your work that is it is it for real. Yes, it is for real. Such kind of questions have appeared in IP Mat Indoor. So, that's our answer. Uh, we wanted to find A3 is to A5. So, we're going to say 9 is to 5 and not 5 is to 9. Okay. Uh, so, the answer is first option 9 is to 5. So, this is a pretty simple question. I wanted to discuss one uh, variation with you, one difficult variation with you. Okay. Uh, Let's say, let's say the question gives us S5 is equal to S10. Let's say this is given and the question asks us which of the terms is definitely 0. Okay, if S5 is equal to S10, which of the terms is definitely 0 is what is asked. What do we really need to do or rather how do you uh, think of this question? Okay, uh, so let's say A1 a2 and dot 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 a5 then you have a6 a7 a8 a9 and a10 clear now this summation is s5 and this summation is s10 correct so they have said that s5 is equal to s10 which means that this part is not really adding anything. So, this summation of this is 0. Summation of the next 5 terms from 6 to 10 is equal to 0. I hope that is understood. Correct. Now, if the summation of 5 terms of an AP is 0, which means these 2 terms have to cancel out these 2 terms. Correct. These 2 terms have to cancel out these 2 terms. Only then the summation will be 0. Hence, the middle term here definitely has to be 0. If the middle term is not 0, you will never get the sum is 0. So, had they given us S5 is S10, we would have said that A8 is definitely 0. Correct? So, remember that anyway, whenever the numbers are in AP, the middle term is always the arithmetic mean of, of, the, entire, of the entire series. right? So, by that simple term also, if the middle term of that series uh, has to be 0, if the uh, sum is 0. So, I hope that's clear. And anyway, the previous part, that was the really easy part, the actual question which was asked in the exam. Uh, so, try your hand at the replica question. I'm sure you should get all your right answers uh, this time. Put that in the comment and we will reply with the answer. Happy learning and see you.